Hedgehogs and frogs in the garden. Oh, they don't have many hedgehogs nowadays, do they? No. Oh. I was clearing the garden last year and I picked up what I thought was a big handful of dead leaves. And oh, really? I thought, oh, something's stuck in right into my hand. Well, oh, it's hedgehog. hedgehog's prickles are coming. Oh. <laughs> well, I did the same with a, t I think it was a toad or a frog. Oh, that probably less. Picked it up and then he's sitting in my hand and I was looking at him. And, thought, and he's looking right back at you thinking. I'd love to take a picture of him, but then he went, he hopped off. <laughs> Yeah, I've not seen very many hedgehogs in the wild. Remember, I once went to um, like this medic's ball with a friend of mine, and um, he was driving, and I saw this hedgehog crossing the road, and I saw another car coming. I was like, "Stop!" <laughs> so I had to get out, and I picked it. I said, "Stop!" And obviously, I looked so ridiculous in this big ball gown in the middle of the road. <laughs> and I went down, I bent down, looking at the and then they drove past. I said, "Well, what was it? What was it?" I said, "Look, it's a hedgehog." And they're like, "Oh." We got lots of them around yesterday, but there's no reason for me to kill them. <laughs> so he went into a little bush, and um, I'd like to think he's still alive, yeah. but I don't know. Well, we had babies in the garden. I think they oh. must have got in, and then something had blocked the hole up where they came in. Oh, so and they so couldn't then get out. She went down the bottom under this big bush, and had all the babies used to come out during the day. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? I had to go and buy some hedgehog food. Oh, what do they eat? <laughs> um, well, they sort of... I can't remember now if it was dog or cat food. I oh, one of them yes. they can't eat, but the other one it has to they be can. a meaty one, not a fishy one. Oh, so it's probably dog food then. I didn't know they could eat dog food. And they say don't give them milk; just put them out some water. Mm. Do they have milk normally? Well, some people think they should give them bread and milk for some reason, but apparently it's poisonous to them. Oh, milk. right. Okay, that's interesting. So what do the mothers feed them then? They don't have milk at all, well, probably. I suppose they have their own milk, not cow's milk. Yeah. I don't know. They're so sweet, they're so tiny. I think I'm going to do this in a different way, actually. Let's see. They are very small. I've got a patient I normally go and see, and they've got a white hedgehog, mm -hmm. an albino one. Mm -hmm. And it's really cute. And I'm like, oh, they don't usually do very good in the wild, do they, albino? Oh, I don't. Animals. Probably because they're so obvious to be yeah. seen, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I might build this up. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. So what I've done is I've created the basic shape, and then what I'm going to do is once this is set. I'm going to add more silicone here so it pushes your toe over. Right. That's my plan. And we will see how it goes. <laughs> Let's set. So I'll let that one set. If you just be completely relaxed. Um, Please let me know if any of this is painful or uncomfortable. No, not pain. And let's pull up on the bottom as well. I just need to warm it up a bit. Why did you decide you wanted to be a podiatrist? Well, I was actually going to do international relations and Arabic originally. It wasn't <laughs> going to be podiatry at all. And then somehow I ended up in it. How did I do? Oh, yeah, I was going to. So I, I was to do Arabic and international relations and realised actually being a girl probably doesn't help <laughs> with Arabic. So I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I will be a dentist because my teeth look like I've been chewing on dynamite. <laughs> and my mum's like, now I'm going to just go a little bit silent for this bit because I'm going to talk to myself about how I'm going to do this. Right, right then. Um, so, yeah, we went there for his job. And then...
Are your toes okay still? So they're not. Yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah. painful what I'm doing. No. Okay, because I'm going to get a bit aggressive, but I don't mean to be. Just to get them to form nicely. Just take shape. Let's let that one hold this one down. Don't worry about this, I'll fix all that. I just need the basic core shape. So similar with this one, this one's probably done. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so, the, so they've got a very nice system. So I've got a friend, for example, I met her last year um, and I hadn't seen her for about 17, 8, 19 years, um, and she just had a baby, and I said, oh, well done, I know that you've finished uni and everything, so what will you do for work, and she says, oh yeah, we get um, eight years maternity, I'm like, eight, eight years, years. Like, do you mean eight months, she <laughs> said, no, 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 I mean eight years, eight years, eight years. I said, what are you going to do, I mean, uh, how are you going to, she said, no, they pay you, <laughs> they pay you your full salary for eight years. And the point is, they want you to have as many children as you can, mm, get them all over and done with, and then you can go back. I said, but you could do two degrees in that time. <laughs> oh my gosh, eight years is a long time. Um, and they, yeah, they pay for it all, and that, that's all covered. And I was like, wow, nice. Perhaps a boy or money, haven't they? Yeah, that's what it, ultimately that is what it is, yeah. So did, what did you do for work when you were working? I was in... I started off in a bank mm -hmm. where I met my husband. Oh, okay. But I uh, ended up um, being a medical secretary. Oh, that's cool. That play -Doh. It, it is like Play Doh, and it's about getting the consistencies right. And really, I should be wearing an apron because the amount of time I end up with this stuff on me, and then to get it off is real, Ooh. real difficulty. Um, Oh, look, see, we've got it off. <laughs> <laughs> Trembling, oh, Hannah, what are you doing? So do you think you're still going to dentistry? Or? No, not at all. I wanted to do animation as well, but I really enjoy doing podiatry. Um, I think the thing with dentistry is you can't have a conversation with your patients. <laughs> I mean, you can talk to them, but they cannot talk to you. <laughs> I thought, well, that's lovely, but no, I'd like to be able to speak to people and say, so what have you been up to? What have you done today? Yeah, a lot of people say that, like, oh, it's no, gross. I don't like feet. <laughs> so I never liked feet before I did it, but they don't bother me now. And I think, particularly if I can get a foot and I think, oh, that looks difficult, let's how do we fix it? How do we do it? I'm like, yes, <laughs> this is great. And then, so I've basically now turned that orange stuff, the hard stuff, into like a paste mm. so that I can now cover all the holes and all the bits that I want to cover. So, to get it all to stick nicely together. So, in my head, this is going to work brilliantly well. In reality, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Actually, what I should do is get some oil. Let's get some oil. Make my life easier. is you have to do it before it starts to set because that's when you have trouble just stay there that wind is so it's windy it's house so windy Rental house turns yeah. into so Yeah, everything's opening up in the garden. I know, that's the thing. All the flowers and plants are really mm. enjoying life at the moment. And I'm like, oh, guys, you're going to probably end up dying anyway. 
That's a cherry so tree, not a huge cherry tree, it's just about to burst open. Oh nice! And a magnolia as well. Magnolia, what do they look like? They look like cup type flowers. Are they and white and pink? They can be white or they can be pink or all different Are they quite shades. like lo a length of my fingers, the petals? Well, different oh, ones are different shapes, I think. They have some oh, with long yeah. petals and some with... Because I've seen yeah. a tree, and it, I thought it was a cherry blossom, but it definitely wasn't a cherry blossom. And I wondered, what is this tree? This is a gorgeous tree. Well, they're bigger flower. Oh, cherry blossom's quite small. Then it must have been a magnolia. Yeah. Mm, yes, I think this was a magnolia. Was it I saw recently? it in London. Yeah, it was very recent. Well, it probably is then. It would be flower earlier in London. Yeah, it was gorgeous. I thought, oh my gosh, look at this. And everyone was there taking pictures with it. And I was like, yeah, this is a lovely looking tree. We might have a multicoloured one. <laughs> I was trying to do it all in the same colour, but I don't know that we're going to get on very well. <laughs> Anybody is going to see it except for me. Yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> ready to move. So that's crisscrossing. So the idea of this is that it's a an all-in-one. So everything's supposedly well, supposedly it's supposed to keep them separate, and it's like a tube that you put over the toes. Let's see if we can do this a little bit. How does that feel going on at the moment? Are you okay? okay yeah. Okay, well it definitely keeps them apart, so I'm happy about that. There's enough of a gap between the big toe and the next one. Um, do they feel apart to you as well? Yes. 
Is that uncomfortable? <clears throat> no. Is that all right? I can't move them a lot, so. Yeah. So that's one up. So it goes on and off, it comes on and off, that's fine. That's good, I'm going to repair this. So I've just put a glaze over it, so it might look like it bits are not going to stick on, but they will. Because <laughs> I've just covered it with this very thin glaze. <laughs>